Hello there YouTube and Visual Basic Fanatics. Okay, in um, uh, some of my previous videos I've shown how you can run a process or start an application um, from your project. Okay, today we're going to be looking at how do you kill a process um, that is already running. Okay, you can unfortunately not prevent someone from running a process because a user has certain rights to run a, an application but we can stop an, uh, a process that's already running okay so to give you a demonstration I'm just gonna throw a button on my form okay I only have one form it's a new uh, a new project and um, I am just gonna double click on the button and now I need to declare my process okay so the first thing is we need to get a collection of all the processes in the system at the moment so we're gonna go the my process okay sorry because it's a collection of processes we have to put our, our brackets there okay as process okay and that will equals to um, my assist no sorry it's a system system dot diagnostic dot process get process by name and the name is very important okay how do you get a name for a process that you want to kill well you can right click on your taskbar and go to task manager and in your processes you can sort them alphabetically or how you would like them and for this tutorial I'm just gonna go and use the calculator okay and the moment I've got the calculator there you'll now see that calc exe Windows calculator is active if I close it it's gone okay run it and it's back another way to check what what it is CALC is obviously the image name you don't need to put the extension so another way to test your process name is by just typing for instance notepad and if it opens the notepad then your process name would be notepad okay but uh, like I said, we're going to use the calculator, so it's C-A-L-C, okay? And now that we've declared which process we're looking for in our collection of processes, we need to say um, it has to kill that process. So we're going to go dim, uh, sorry, uh, for each, um, my kill as process in my processes, okay? Uh, my kill dot kill okay so what that does it, it literally just goes through each of the processes if the process name equals to the calculator it will then kill that process okay so what we're going to do is I'm just going to run a test run okay I'm going to open my calculator again and if I click my button bye bye calculator Okay, um, so how do we actually stop someone from using the calculator while I'm busy working on it? Well, to do that, I am going to need to um, remove the button, okay, and I'm going to stick in a timer control, which is a component. There we go. Okay, I'm going to put the timer control to 100 intervals, it's fine, that means. 10 times a second okay enabled equals true I want to switch it on and in the timer tick event I am just going to throw my code in there remove my button uh, run my app that means that the timer is now running with that process killing the the calculator 10 times a second okay so I'm gonna go click on calculator and it doesn't even pop up click on it again click on it again nothing okay just to show you how it works I'm going to change the calculator uh, I mean the timer control to half a second okay that'll give the the program about a half a second to start up and you'll actually see up and gone up and gone okay so um, I hope this helps. If you have any questions, you can post them. Any comments, all welcome. You can subscribe to my channel. Um, and I'll still speak to you guys later. Cheers.